Hi everyone, this is Mr. Cervone. Welcome to my math channel. In today's lesson, uh, we will be seeing how to divide a segment proportionally. And here's an example. Given points A, negative 4, 5, and B, 12, 13, find the coordinates of the point C that sits two-fifths of the way along segment AB closer to A than it is to B. So let's imagine that point C is probably uh, somewhere here, right? That is two-fifths of the way. So maybe it's here somewhere. Okay. So let's imagine this. What does it mean, two-fifths? So that means that if the entire segment has a ratio of 5x, right, then it sits two-fifths closer to A than to B. So this will be 2x, okay? So obviously this makes sense because if you divide 2x by 5x, you just end up with two-fifths, okay? Um, here x is some number that is not equal to zero, obviously. So the question is, how do we find the coordinate at this point C? What are the coordinates of x and y? And this is exactly what we're going to learn in today's lesson. So please stay tuned with me. So please keep watching and I will show you how to solve this. So the first thing you want to do is draw a triangle, a right triangle as shown in the figure. The goal here is to somehow create a pair of similar triangles and use proportions to figure out the X and Y values. So let's start with the X value first for point C. So first we draw the line connecting C and D, which is parallel to segment BE and perpendicular to segment ADE, okay? So what do you notice here? So we notice that they share the same angle here and we have these two right angles, okay? So therefore, we can say that triangle ABE must be similar to triangle ACD, okay? Um, and that is because of the AA similarity postulate, okay? So at this point, we can now generate a proportion. First, let's rewrite the length of AC to be two and the length of AB to be five. The next thing is to rewrite the lengths from A to E and A to D by measuring the actual distances. Since we know that point A is negative four comma five, and we know that point D is X comma five, then what can we say about the length from segment A to D, or from point A to D? Well, the Y value is the same, but we know that the distance here is going to be X minus negative four, which is X plus four, okay? And it makes sense because this distance here is X, and that distance here is going to be four, so it's going to be four plus X, okay? So the next thing is to look at point E. Since point E has a coordinate of 12 comma five, and you see that point A has coordinates negative four comma five, they do have the same Y coordinate, but the X coordinates are different. So what we want to do is do 12 minus negative four or 12 plus four, and the length from A to E is just going to be 16, okay? So great, now we can already set up a proportion here pertaining to these two similar triangles. Namely, what we can say is that by corresponding parts, the sides are proportional in these two similar triangles, okay? So the proportion we can set up is as follows. 16 over x plus four is equal to 5 over 2, okay? So remember that the 16 belongs to triangle ABE. So we're actually considering for the 16 side AE and the corresponding side is segment AD over here in this triangle, okay? So this is actually for the first part of the ratio. The second part, the 5 over 2, that is AB in this triangle. And then we have over AC in the other triangle. 
So that will be the second part of this proportion of the ratio of 5 over 2. So all we need to do here is cross multiply this and figure out the value of x, okay? So let's do that really quick. So we have 32 is equal to 5x plus 20, which means that 5x will equal to 12 and x is going to be equal to 2.4. Okay, so that is basically the answer for the C coordinate, okay? So maybe we can write this in here that C has a coordinate point of 2.4. So let me keep this open as Y here, okay? Because in a bit, we will find the Y coordinate as well. Okay, so we found the X coordinate. Now, how do we find the Y coordinate of point C? We do something very similar. We also draw a line parallel to the X axis. Let me show how this works. The first thing we want to do is draw segment CF, again, such that it's parallel to segment ADE, okay? Uh, we actually don't need point D anymore, so I'm going to erase that. Um, so by doing that, we're ensuring that we have similar triangles again. So we know that these two right angles are congruent, and we know that this angle is congruent to itself, okay? So again, now we have triangle ABE is similar to triangle CBF, okay? Okay, since they're similar because of the AA similarity postulate, uh, we can now set up a proportion, okay? So what's the proportion we can set up here? Well, let's first define uh, the coordinates of F before we do that, okay? So F is going to have an X coordinate, which is 12, and the Y coordinate is the one that is unknown that we're trying to find, okay? So now we have to think about, okay, so how are we going to do this now? Well, since we're referring to triangle CBF, we cannot consider the two here anymore, okay? Now we want to consider the distance from B to C, which is three, okay? Because it's the difference between five and two on the bottom here. Okay, so there's the three. The next thing is to establish the distances now in those two triangles. For example, the distance from B to F, we know the X coordinates are the same, but now the Y coordinates are different, right? And we have 13 minus Y over here. So let me write this in as 13 minus Y. Then we have the distance from B to E, which is 13 minus five. In this case, we have eight, okay? And now we can finally set up a proportion. So the proportion here will be Let's consider the big triangle first. So we have BE over here. So BE is eight over, and then we have the distance from B to F. Those are the two corresponding sides. Um, and that is 13 minus Y. Let me make that uh, line a little longer. And that is equal to AB in the big triangle over here over BC. So that will be five over three over here. Okay, once we set up the proportion, now all we need to do is again, cross multiply and figure out the value of y. Okay, so here first we do three times eight, okay? So here we get 24 is equal to 65 minus 5y, okay? Which means that 5y is equals to 41, okay? And therefore y is 8.2, okay? And that is basically the Y coordinate of the C value, okay? So let's write this in here, that the Y value is 8.2. And that is basically the answer to the problem. The answer is, let me write this here again, that the C has a coordinate of 2.4 comma 8.2. Okay, and that, that's basically it. So let me highlight that as well. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. So in our next lesson, we will learn how to solve a system of linear equations, okay? So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, so you can get the alert 
on what's going to come up in our next lessons and learn a lot of really cool mathematical things. So again, thank you for watching and have a great day.